All right, today is book club and today we're going to be talking about arguably one of the most famous books regarding um, creating a life, uh, a successful life. And when we talk about success, we talk about career, we talk about money, we talk about personal fulfillment. Um, and that is the book by Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Um, I've read it probably around, uh, actually I've read it twice and I've listened to it now once. Um, and literally when you're reading it, they are uh, in the book, they actually say, every time you do that, you're going to learn something different. You're actually going to have a different takeaway every single time that you listen to it because you're at a different stage uh, in your life, you know, personally, business-wise, career-wise, money-wise. So every time I've listened to it, new aha moments have come for me. But I summed it up, kept it really simple today. Um, and I just wanted to talk about, you know, the 13 laws of success um and because I just love the summed up version the summed up version 13 laws of success and literally if this is the recipe for success well then we should have it up and we should be looking at it and we should be working towards it on an ongoing basis um and not getting uh sloppy or wishy-washy about it so number one they talk about desire without the actual feeling of desire like the strong intense feeling of desire there will be no action and no result okay Number two is faith. You must believe you deserve what you desire in order to have it. Monitor your beliefs and self-limiting thoughts. Uh, use affirmations to eliminate doubt and fear. Fear that you need to be aware of could be fear of poverty, criticism, illness, loss of love, old age, death, uh, to name a few. Number three is auto-suggestion. To remove previous beliefs that don't serve you, meditate, focus on your worthiness and faith, write it, see it, and read it several times a day to empower your subconscious. Number four is, and um, I thought of Jane for this one, specialized knowledge. Knowledge doesn't ensure success. Using specific knowledge that is, that is required to actually make your desires a reality is what makes you successful. So specific knowledge. And I thought about essentialism. You know, we can keep consuming knowledge, 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 but it has to directly relate specifically to the desire that you have and what you're trying to achieve. Um, and of course, you need to be open to receiving wisdom. So open to change, open to receiving, you know, wisdom from someone else. Then we've got imagination. Use creative imagination. And again, a lot of this was, J Jane, I kept thinking of you because of all the creativity when it comes to uh, creativity, when it comes to... Um, Bring it on. Yeah, paint and sip. And it was like using creative imagination to visualize the result of your des desires as if it had already happened. Organized planning. Success starts with creating a written plan with actionable goals. So this week, have you written a plan and do you have actionable goals? Decision. Make firm, unwavering decisions without an option of it not working. So in fact, don't have a backup plan. Um, an example that they had was burning the boats. There was a, a, an army that arrived on the land. They all arrived on their boats, got onto the land, and they were petrified. There were only a few of them. They were so scared. They were like, ah, 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 we are so scared. We don't think we're going to win. We just jump back on the boats and go again. So the, the lieutenant, the captain, whoever it was, he burnt the boats. So there was no option for failure. And don't make, don't change your decisions. See them through to the end. Just make sure that they are well thought out. Indecisiveness and procrastination is wishy-washy and unfruitful. And don't be swayed by naysayers. Persistence. Get used to failing. <laughs> you have to fail many, many, many times. And without persistence, you will not make your desire a reality. Failure happens when you quit too soon. So keep failing and keep persisting. The power of the mastermind. 
What are we doing here? Align yourself with like-minded people who will inspire you. They will motivate. They will inspire you. They are the right people. They're on the right journey. You're in the right place. And we're here together. And it makes it easier for us to do it. Some of you might find this one a bit weird. It was a bit left field. But sexual transmutation. Transmutation is all about transferring one energy into another. So you can charm and attract people you have interest in by improving your sexual sexual energy and power. All right? <laughs> so I actually have to look into that and see exactly what specifically that means we need to be doing. <laughs> um, the subconscious mind. Controlling your subconscious beliefs can help you manifest your desires through through the right vibrational frequencies. And I know that, you know, Sally uses the Healy, which is, oh, mine's over here somewhere. I've got one as well. The Healy is a vibrational frequency that you can be using, but controlling your subconscious beliefs. So being aware of them and controlling them and, re and retraining them can help you then vibrationally attract more of the right things. Second to last, we've got the brain. Creative tasks, again, this is this was another thing about being creative. It's so important that you actually are creative in what you do. So creative tasks, visualizations, imaginations, and affirmations can be perceived as real by the subconscious mind, which can help you create your reality. So we don't want to be leaving those things out. And the last one is your sixth sense. Your intuition is your sixth sense and it improves with meditating and subconscious work. We get profound answers or revelations, which makes decision-making a lot easier. So tune in and do not ignore your gut feelings. And for me, for me, that one is about taking time to step out, to step back in before I just charge ahead because I'm an activator and activators just charge ahead. So it's about stepping back and make sure I'm doing these things so that I'm in perfect alignment and can have that intuition turned on. And also so I don't wear myself out doing fruitless activities. So who would like the six step, the six step process to sexual transmutation? No, I'm joking. The six step process to manifesting <laughs> success. <laughs> and uh, when we go <laughs> and when we go off here um, and leave our live, our live crowd then we'll have a more intimate discussion about that um, but the six step process to manifesting su success number one fix your mind exactly on what you want exactly don't try and figure it out don't try and justify it or cookie cutter it or you know put it into mold exactly what you want, no matter how unbelievable or believable it is. Number two, what will you give back in order to get that? Now, this was a huge one for me when I read the book. Um, and I will actually show you the uh, statement that I've come up with. But energetically, we actually have to give something energetically in order to get that thing back. So what are you going to give? And what is your contribution, your purpose to the world? in order to receive that. Number three, establish a date when you want that done by. Too many entrepreneurs, because we want to work for ourselves, we don't put due dates on things. Okay? How many of you have actually put a due date that you want a task done by? I want a salesperson by Monday, like, and put a date in next to the task. Number four, create an actionable plan and implement it. I kind of think that they should, that should actually be two steps, um, but I'm just using their six-step process. Create an actionable plan, so one that you actually can action, and then, of course, implement it. So put in your diary, make it happen, and again, put more due dates on it. Number five, write out a statement and place it where you see it frequently. I had this VA once and she used to use post-it notes and all different color post-it notes. She used to write things on it. She had them on her laptop. She'd have it on her steering wheel of her car. 
a screensaver on the phone, on the fridge, on the mirror, so that visually she was seeing it all the time and retraining her subconscious mind to be able to attract it. And not only that, you're also building on your faith, building on your uh, desire, improving with auto-suggestion. And then the last one is read it out loudly at least three, three times per day. So first thing in the morning when you wake up, at least once a day during the day, and then again before you go to bed. All right, so uh, short training today, uh, literally the summed up version of Book Club, which was Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Uh, and uh, we'll leave our live crowd and then we will go to, uh, we will leave, <laughs> I will leave the online crowd and I'll go to the live crowd so we can talk about sexual transmutation.